They'll be calling you right. I'm not letting this get away. No journalist on earth is going to report this. The JFK connection, uh, Abby, assassination, Caroline, somebody says, oh, she wasn't the ambassador 20. I didn't say that. Why don't you listen to the videos before you comment? When she was named in 2013, was on the 50th anniversary of his funeral. The Christian Science Monitor and myself and the only people on earth that reported these ironies. The same day as that salute. Caroline's brother at the tomb. So I'm not letting this get away. So Saga becomes after I beat. He comes to the United States to meet with, sliding with Biden. Flies into Dallas. Reagan. Friday morning. Before he even meets with Biden, they're at Arlington. I'll post the link. The Financial Times reported it. Kamala Harris, Caroline Kennedy, at JFK's tomb. Before he met with Biden. Now remember, Caroline Kennedy was the ambassador to Fukushima. She's an anti-nuker. And by the way, I have a connection to Caroline through Amy, through Democracy Now. It's third party, but I know him. You know, and I know the dynamic. You remember Caroline got caught on the hype mic going off on Obama about Fukushima? And nobody's going to use this F word. Everybody's going to just... The assassination of Abby and the correlations to JFK blown away are staggering, mind-blowing. Her son, JFK's grandson, that's where he was introduced. He hadn't made a public appearance. He did a Fukushima. He did in Japan. And he talked anti-nuclear. Remember, JFK was the most anti-nuclear. He was fierce, fierce anti-nuclear. And Abby was fierce, fierce pro-nuclear. Nobody's going to talk about the Fukushima dynamic of this. I mean, so this is important. When Saga gets the reins and how he became, uh, don't even get me going on the election process in Japan, how that's played out. It's incredible. They met and laid a wreath at JFK's tomb, and I'll post the, the links, you know, and nobody's going to report any of this, any of this, no one's going to say the F word, and this doesn't prove you, Fukushima, who's running this country, when Trump won't say it, when Obama, Obama said it on, you know, the Rose Garden on St. Patty's Day, 2017, 2011, we're going to keep you abreast. I want you to know what I know. And we're going to let you know. It's the plume's not freaking dangerous. right? And then he was flown out of the country. Never mentioned Fukushima again to this day. Biden, or Trump told me he was going to talk Fukushima. Did he? Nope. Biden told us that he was going to talk Fukushima. Did he? Now, who runs this country? Who runs this country? You think there's a difference between Trump and Obama and Biden. There's not. This is an important story. I'm going to post it. Get it into the domain.